Welcome back. My name is Andy Melendrez and I'm your Ward 2 City Council member and also your host of Good Neighbor Riverside. And we are here at Feeding America, which is located on Jefferson in the Riverside area. And they had a wonderful lunch today called Ladies of Love. And Miguel, why don't you go ahead and pan around. The luncheon has just finished up. They had panel discussions, they had guest speakers, and talking about Feeding America and helping those in need. We're going to introduce you to a couple individuals here in just a second, but I cannot emphasize the importance of the program and how it helps those that are in need. Miguel, let's go out here and we're going to interview you. I mean, we're going to interview the individual. It looks like she's pretty, pretty busy, but we're going to go ahead and interview the individual who coordinates this. And well, wait just a second. How are you today? Hi, good, thank you. Good. Could give, you give us your full name and tell us your position here? Sure. My name is Stephanie Otero. I am the CEO of Feeding America Riverside San Bernardino. And tell me what the organization does. We are the best kept secret in the Inland Empire. We are the largest hunger relief organization. Um, we serve both Riverside and San Bernardino County. Wow. I mean, when you look at the facility, you have refrigeration in the back. Miguel, why don't you take a look at uh, all the stores they have here. Tell us a little bit about where the food comes from and, and how you coordinate all this. So one of the great things about our organization is that all of our food is donated, so we don't actually purchase any food. Um, we have a tremendous amount of food resource donators, donor, donors in our area, so all of our food is donated. And it goes out into the communities. We um, partner with over 200 local nonprofit organizations that have hunger relief programs, and they get their food from us, and it's distributed out into the community. Wow, is this your only location or do you have other locations? This is our only location um, on our website. If, you, if someone's in need, they can go to our website, which is feedingie.org. They type in their zip code and they can find our partners that are in their area. So if there's someone located in the San Bernardino County, they don't have to come all the way out to Riverside to get some assistance. Now, are all the people that work here paid employees or tell us about that? It's a mix. We do have employees. We have about 29 people on staff, but we do rely heavily on volunteers. The food that comes in has to be sorted before it can be distributed into the community. So we have volunteers that come into our food bank five days a week, 7 a.m. to 3.30, and help us sort that food. Wow. So volunteering is part of the workforce. And let me ask you this. You said that you give away the food and you have donors who give away the food. Where do your employees get paid from and how does that come about? Tell us about that. Yes, we're a nonprofit organization, which means we don't sell anything. We really rely on the generosity and kindness of other people to um, support us and help us do the program that we do and the work that we do. So fundraising is a big component. Yes, donations, fundraising, grants, um, all an integral part of um, allowing us to continue our operations. And, the, and what you had here today is called Lady of Love Luncheon. Is that correct? A Ladles of Love Luncheon. Of love. Yes, so it's a community awareness event where we invite people to come out and just learn more about our organization and what we do and, and hopefully, you know, become supporters of our food bank. Great. All right. Well, th it's a wonderful facility. Look at the size. Obviously, you have to pay rent and you have to do all kinds of stuff here to make it, you know, keep the roof over your head. We do. It, it, it takes quite and a tremendous amount of resources to sustain our operations. You know, we have trucks. We have drivers, there's fuel, there's labor. Um, this is a 79,000 square foot warehouse. So yeah, it's not, it's not cheap to, to run. Yeah. And, and where do they find you? What's, what is the website uh, again? It's feedingie.org. Feedingie.org, feedingie.org. Yes, correct. Great. Stephanie, thank you so much for thank taking you so your time. Much. We're gonna go over and look for a couple board members and these are all volunteers, the board members that are there and, and they can tell us a little bit about why they're on this uh, board and how they see the service in our community. Exactly, and I see a few of them right over there, so you can go grab them. Great, I will. <laughs> thank you so much, thank Stephanie. You. Thank you for your time, and thank you for the work that you do. This is wonderful. All right, Miguel, let's take a look. And uh, there's a board member walking right towards us. How are you today, Good sir? Fine, thank you. Could you state your full name? My name is uh, Anil Garde. I was a, uh, I'm a retired physician from Riverside Medical Clinic, mm -hmm. and I was there for 47 years. Okay. Hey. Look, uh, it looks like we have a few other board members. Where they want to join us? Come on, have them come out out here. Come out out here and join us. Yes, we're we're very unstructured here. There's no editing, so come on in. And the doctor was just introducing himself. And uh, doctor, tell us a little bit about why you do this, and we're going to introduce and well, you know get you to know, you in just a second. I I worked in this uh, community for a long time, 
And as I was retiring, I realized that I should give back to the community. And I said, what is the best way to give back to the community? Money is one way, but doing something personally was very important for me, especially for elderly people and children. So that's what I decided to join. And now I'm learning a lot through Feeding America. And I think we'll continue to do a lot of things from here. Great, great. And yourself, give us your full name and tell us how long you've been on the board and why you do it. Uh, my name, away. yeah, don't walk away, Dr. Garde. <laughs> uh, my name is Gail Schulte, and I've been on Feeding Board America, Feeding America board for about a little over four years. So, and I do what I do because there's such a need in our community, and we really need to reach out and take care of our community and the people within. And you know, Stephanie was uh, telling us, 29 employees give away a lot of food. But it also requires a lot of fundraising, a lot of donations to keep this going. Feeding America is a very well-kept secret, and we want to make sure that we get the word out what it, who we are and what we do. So thank you so much for talking to us today. No. Well, we're going to post this on Facebook. It generally is seen by about 13,000 individuals, Great. and you can share it with others. So this is a wonderful program. Doctor, tell us a little bit more about what gives you satisfaction about serving on this board, because it, it obviously reaches out to a lot of communities in need. I'll, I'll tell you something. I've gone to two schools uh, for feeding children. And that was very, uh, I, I, it was an eye-opener for me because there were two, one in San Bernardino, one in Riverside, should I mention the names? Sure. Madison's uh, Elementary School. And sad part was 85% of the parents are below poverty level. And it was painful to see that young children, they are fed in the school, but uh, in the evening they may not have a full meal. And that, that was very painful. So we tried to give them food. Once a month we go and give them fresh food. That's not enough. We need more money. Okay. To and, and tell us a little bit about, about um, what, what you like about this. And has there been something that really has grabbed you and tugged at your heart? Well, it's amazing how many homes you can go into. And they may not have running water. They may not have food. And it may be both situations. And there are true struggles out in our community that are hidden behind really nice looking homes because people are ashamed. They don't want to bring it out that they can't afford to have food for their children or for their families. So that's why we're here to help. We're, you know, we don't want to have a stigma associated with it. We just want to provide people with the nourishment they need. Well, thank you so much. I'll tell you something which is very important. As a physician, I saw elderly people coming in and they couldn't pay my co-pays and I didn't understand why they couldn't do it and the reason was the price is going up and so either they skip the meal and pay for the uh, drugs or skip the drugs and pay for the food that was an eye-opener for me and it's it's very painful so when and if you become a mayor I think you need to do something significantly more within your capacity I think that it is it is very painful to see what's happening in uh, our area. And, and how much do you get paid for doing this? Nothing. <laughs> All right. And you know what we call those? You are a good neighbor. Thank you, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Thank you very much. Thank, oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Coming. All right. No, no, you're very welcome. Miguel, one more individual that we want to introduce you to, and we are going to, we are going to step in here. How are you today? Good, good. You're glad to join us. We're going to interview. Would you like to interview with us? We're, we're, the camera is running. We're going to yeah. interview Maria. This is your first time, correct? My first time tell us Very what, happy to be here. Tell us your full name and what your experience was. Hi, yeah, this is Maria Omri. I'm currently getting my master's in public policy at UC Riverside and very interested in food banks. I'm actually doing a project with food banks, UCR Food Bank, that gets uh, supplies from the Feeding America. So I was very interested to see what um, what they're doing and it's really exciting to hear the stories of what people are doing and I just met Linda here who's telling me that she's a volunteer before and I'm interested in volunteering myself so very happy to be here very yeah. good. it's a wonderful program I mean this is amazing yeah well it's they're doing great things yeah, yeah. Amazing. and give us your full name and you volunteered before so tell us what your experience was with this okay. your full name please okay my name is Linda Romaldo and I live in Corona and I volunteered last, uh, last year towards the holiday. And I was very taken with, you know, um, 
what they do here and when you really realize how many people in our communities are going to bed hungry, it's just, it's amazing. And when I got the invitation to come to this luncheon and learn more about it, that's what I wanted to do. So here I am. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Welcome for your first visit. We hope to see you as a volunteer and thank you so much for your volunteerism. Thank you. Miguel, let's go ahead and follow up. You know, just a very quick, um, you know, again, part of the overhead, look at the trucks, delivery, delivery of the items to the warehouse or to the, to the people in need. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time.